it might be fixed now. Once it comes up again. Okay. Only one person mention mentioned it. Yeah, it it definitely is out of sync with you though. <laughs> Okay, let's change back. So the reason why that was happening is because there's like an input lag for my capture device. So when I was streaming solo and I wanted my commentary to match up, I had to put a delay on my a microphone. A delay on audio. yours, yeah. So it was like 1.3 seconds of delay. So I just set it back to zero. That's funny. <laughs> I could go to the castle, but why wouldn't I do all the levels? Might as well. Oh, gotta I should get, be towed now. Gotta, gotta get all those three green stars that we're not getting. I know, right? It's okay, I'm curious to see too, like, once you get some of the other powers, if you come back, if that changes how you can approach the levels, I guess. Yeah. Once you can fly around and whatnot. So the thing with Toad is he's the fastest. He runs way faster than everybody else. In Mario 2, he was the one who could pull stuff out of the ground the fastest. Are those supposed to be giant footprints to signify that's where you're supposed to stand? Yeah. <laughs> I think these jump pads were in Galaxy. I know those question mark tiles were. I didn't play very much of Galaxy. Mm. Actually, they might... No, I think they were in both 1 and 2. I really, I really have to play more. Oh, am I gonna fuck this up? Probably. Oh yeah, good luck with that. I can never do these things mm -hmm. on the first... Run through. Can I long jump it? Oh, damn it. Well, whatever, I can just step out again. Oh, well, that makes it a little simpler if you can jump over the walls there. He kind of did a little. Yeah. Also, the fact that you can just jump. I can just <laughs> jump on him over and over, yeah. That's how toes do it. Mm hmm. Okay, this time I'll get all the red coins. I got a fire flower for that. Just a fire flower? Yeah. Hmm. I was expecting something more grand. Well, then that really means the green uh, stars are hidden, right? Yeah. So there's been some levels where... Most levels you've really only gotten one. Yeah, like that room I was just in, I read about those. I think those are the, like the mystery house levels, or like tiny super short levels that you have to beat in like 10 seconds. And those always get you a green star. Okay. Oh, well, one of those jerks. Yeah, it's a Magic Koopa. Or if it's like the main honcho Magic Koopa is Kamek. Green star. So, I mean, I know all circus things look kind of similar, mm -hmm. but something about this reminds me of what is that? Like that last level of um, Kingdom Hearts. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Well, not the last level of Kingdom Hearts, but there is a level in Kingdom Hearts that, yeah. I don't know why I jumped at the flagpole from the bottom, but I did. Well, that's, you know. <laughs> Who wants points? I should have jumped off the back wall to get that stamp. Whoops. I was just thinking, I should use Luigi for this! <laughs> This 
slot machine randomly over there. Who are you gonna go in the castle with? Because whoever goes in the castle gets the glory. That's true. I'll probably do Mario. Oh man, they're using the Mario 2 character select screen music for the slot machine. What are these little floaty guys? I don't know. They're new? Yeah, I think so. Lots of coins. <laughs> Did you get those coins, or those are just uh, fake coins? That... They're just like automatically dumped into your pocket, I guess. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, it's the Captain Toad levels. Captain Toad goes forth. <laughs> I'm like slightly tempted to try to find other streams of people playing this game to see how terrible they are comparatively <laughs> to watching you do it. Because as we always discuss, I don't know what it is about Anytime early adopters. Anytime the game adopters. comes out and it's anticipated, the person who, the, there's always one person who gets it really super early somehow, and they're always like the most inept person at video trash. games. Trash. The trash. The and it's so not bad. like, ugh, why don't you already know how to be a super expert player at the game or anything? It's just like they don't know how to fucking jump or something, and then they'll complain about how it's the game's fault or something. <laughs> So these are like little puzzle levels. You can't jump. If you try to jump, it's like he's, his feet are nailed into the ground. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yo, That's... I gotta blow in the gamepad. <laughs> That's me blowing spit all over my fucking gamepad. <laughs> Hooray. He's so happy, look at him. Toad, you did such a good job. Good job, Captain Toad. There's a bunch of green stars. Oh, it does look like you have to get a certain amount of green stars to get into a castle, though. Oh. <sighs> yeah, then I guess any additional ones outside of, like, completion, I'm sure, for, um, extra levels. Mm -hmm. These are exploding Bowser soccer balls. Oh, that's great. Yeah, so there's another thing, like, on the gamepad, if I start touching stuff, I can make invisible blocks appear with this floating glove. It's like caressing this block now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you can, like, give... You can rub the hand all over Mario. Look at this! Good job, Mario. Give oh, Mario no, wait, back rub. wait. Find the cat thing again. You need the cat, uh, <laughs> oh, costume. Oh, yeah. Give the cat a pat on the head. Mm-hmm. There's a green star from red coin- well, the green coins. Well, I guess that makes sense. I did not know green coins existed. Oh, there's a cat, though. Good job, Cat Mario. I'm just, like, putting this hand right over his fucking face. I wish, um, I wish you could grab, like, at the beginning of 64, when he can mush his face. Oh, yeah. I wish oh, you could man. just pull his nose That'd a little. That would be a great stupid-ass tech demo for the Wii <laughs> gamepad. 
doing that Ma Mario smushing thing again. That'd be great. Didn't they have those, like, demo units for that, like, at Blockbusters and stuff? I seem to remember that being a thing. Did they? There was, like, a contest for making the dumbest, goofiest Mario face. <laughs> or something. The way you do that is you just pull his hat down through his face. That's, that's, <laughs> that's step number one. So it does look like Cat Mario does eventually get tired of climbing the up walls. Because I couldn't go all the way up that one really tall wall. Right. Oh, I need a soccer ball for this. If I can aim it right. Well, I, d I don't really need it. I just want to do it with the fucking soccer ball. Yeah. That worked that well. Yeah. So I think there's supposed to be like a homing attack 2 or something? Yeah, if you hold down the button you like shoot downwards. <laughs> front front pause first. Mm-hmm. Probably blow up those blocks, but Cat Mario. That's the thing. Like, a, it's kind of adorable, but it's like also kind of letting you fab bypass a few things. Yeah. Well, Quite I guess a few things. Gives you reason to try and not get hit and stuff, at least. True. Bowser has a car. Um, Big pimpin'. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that thing. Giant, but still only a one seater. Bowser, you're yeah. so big. <laughs> How didn't I see this going poorly? <laughs> I really like the fact that they're soccer balls. Why are they soccer balls? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe Bowser's way into FIFA or something. Could be. He was real upset when the new PS video game turned out to be garbage. <laughs> I love this dumb car of his. It's like they had two concepts for this game and then just built off. It's like, what if Bowser had a car? Also, what if Mario was a cat? <laughs> what, what if, you guys? Done. Easy. Oh, that's some serious uh, fire breath he's got going on there. Jeez. Yeah. I really like it's chugging along and it's missing a, a wheel on the right now. That's yeah. great. On those golden rims. Oh my god, he does have golden rims. Holy shit. <laughs> this is a little easy. I mean, of course it's the first boss, but I can imagine this being a lot tougher with multiple people. Gotta have some nasty hydraulics in that thing to get it to pop off <laughs> like that. Also, I'm surprised the boss fight wasn't three hits and it's over. Also, I just we've realized we've that, Bal that Bowser have was we? ghost riding his whip. <laughs> we've moved on from the three hit thing, I guess. I guess so. You start moving on from that uh, in 64. Each yeah, time you meet true. him, it's like two more throws off <laughs> from his tail that you have to do. So long, gay Bowser. I love that that was a thing. <laughs> like, I never had an N64 as a kid, but I remember my friends telling me, Yo, Mario calls Bowser gay in Super Mario. I was like, No! I don't believe you. <laughs> no! Oh, it was three hits three times? Hmm. Was it really? I thought you had to do it more. 
It's that you have to do it three times. Mm -hmm. Well, this is infinitely better than trying to throw him at bombs that are off the map. Yeah. <laughs> Far better when he has his own car. I wish one of the stamps you could find is uh, like a stamp of his license. I would love to see Bowser's oh, license. Bowser doesn't have a license. He does everything illegally. <laughs> no, I imagine he has one. He's got to be a good uh, influence for <laughs> his son. Yo, there was a legit interview with Miyamoto like earlier this year where... Miyamoto said that, you know, like all the Koopa kids from the early Mario games? Mm -hmm. None of them are actually Bowser's children. So, what? Only Bowser Jr. is Bowser's son. So where did he get these other Koopa kids from? I don't know. <laughs> okay. He also says he likes to imagine the whole cast of Mario as more like actors portraying themselves in the games and their friends outside of the video games. <laughs> What? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh man, look at these ostrich dudes. Oh. <laughs> He's got a spiky shell. Yeah. Well, Mario 3 does look like a play. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't go behind the set pieces and whatnot. No, oh, I can't get up that with Cat. Oh man, he drags himself down with his claws in the walls. <laughs> a golden tube, or pipe. Here. Although, I gotta say, like, you know, a Mario game is one thing where I don't feel like I need uh, a consistent mythos. Yeah. Not really necessary for me. Well, he also kind of stays on the wall for an, a little longer than, uh... Yeah. Than otherwise. Oh, you can actually just cling to the wall for a while, too, in place. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. He kind of sits there for much longer than if you were trying to wall jump off. Yeah. Oh, man. I just want to know if I can s jump on their heads. Keep fucking it up. Yes, you can. Thank you. That fish dodges when I try to attack it. Well, what did that fish do to you? Nothing. <laughs> it's but not like you're gonna eat him. You're not really a cat. Since the fish does avoid you when you get near it, uh, this game is on level with Call of Duty Ghosts. <laughs> There are lots of people very excited for Call of Duty Ghosts as well, of course. Of course. When I was at Walmart. It's been out, though. Oh, well, I guess for the The next-gen version, bone. which kind of looks the same. Slightly higher resolution and whatnot. Yeah. And everybody's like, whoa, it's 1080p on PS4, but not X-Bone. But then Infinity War, where it was like, Oops! It's kind of 720p on PS4. Also, we have to release a patch to fix that. Like, how do you miss that? I don't. Well, that's the thing because they announced beforehand that it was 1080p. So how do you? Yeah, how do you do that? Yeah. Oh, Captain Toad's over here. What's he doing? Besides being terrified. <laughs> Mostly that looks like. 
Thankfully, he's just outpacing this guy. Oh, he has a green star for me. <laughs> Come on, that's rude. He just saved him. I love jumping out in everybody, on everybody's heads in Mario games. <laughs> well, especially now with the uh, the confetti thing. That's just a reward. Yeah. Of course you're going to do it. Oh, shit, I, that almost <laughs> fucked me up. Man. I like that singular... Uh, Star the air coin there. Yeah. Is that to tempt you? <laughs> tempt I think you so. to screw it up. Is he gonna be tempted by a singular one of those though? PS4 Ghost apparently runs badly because it keeps going over the 60 FPS limiter. Yeah, it's going over 60 frames per second on things that can only display 60 hertz. And oh. since it's so high, it actually makes the game jitter more than if you were dropping frames. Right, yeah. It looks like you're losing, right? Nintendo Network Features 1. I have unlocked the ability to post to, post to Beavers with stamps. Yay! Oh, and the ghost me thing. That's just, um... Like, you can load in, you can upload your performance, and then other people can play along and, like, race your ghost or whatever. Also, there are Miis on my map now. That's actually a pretty good Mario drawing. <laughs> so someone asked if there were more people waiting in line for the expo and or Mario Zelda. You were the only person who I asked Mario Zelda, I was literally the only Zelda, person right? there that was there for the Nintendo stuff. And like when I got both games, um, uh, you know, I had to ask, "Hey, you got these?" And like, uh, maybe. And like the cashier was looking at the back of the box before he, you know, ran them over, and was like, "Oh, dude, I didn't even know these games were coming out." And he's like, "Is this like a, is this like a whole new Mario, or is this like a remake?" And I was like, "It's a new Mario game." It's like. Yo, this looks sick. And then he, when I was leaving, he's like, "Stomp on some Koopas for me, please." And he looked like he had tears in his eyes or something. It was like, <laughs> it was like he was crying over his dead childhood or something. <laughs> what? <laughs> you didn't tell me that part before. I kind of forgot until now. I think I tweeted about it, but I haven't looked at my Twitter feed, right? Goodness. Oh man, I can pick up piranha plants. So I see a shadow of a star. How do you get that? Oh, it's just down here. Yeah. Neat. What do you do with this piranha plant? Is you just he chop on stuff for you? Yeah. Oh, nice. Also, uh, I just noticed the prana plant eats stuff into the beat of the music. <laughs> I really like that. This game's making oh, me think of like Mario 3 in like amount of variety already. Mm hmm I like the shadow stuff. I feel like a lot of stuff's doing this now. Yeah. How do I get that stamp? If I go down here? Yes. I wonder if that contrast thing was anything. Oh, that indie game on PS4? Yeah. I heard if it was, it was any good. Bleh. Yeah? Yeah. I guess the just the actual playing it part isn't that great. And it's kind of your standard indie game and that is trying to be really poignant with some kind of message. Mm-hmm. 
Secret. Secret. Oh. Well, that's neat. <laughs> I'll just tip that shit over. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Toad, you could have just looked a little more to your left. What's your left? Just a little Instead more. Instead of looking to the right where the scary shadow was. That was great. Mm -hmm. I like that a lot. Whoop! No, I didn't mean to go back in there. Oh. Oh wait, that was the right door. Never mind. I keep forgetting that I can do that long jump. And that's what I need to do to get the top of that flag. <laughs> Just a lot of butt stomping instead. Or almost. I should have done it a little bit later. <sighs> How much are we used now? Uh, they're 300 and they pretty much always come with the game. Hmm. With Black Friday <laughs> coming, you might be able to find some deals where you can get two games with it for 300. Hmm. Um, they're... I've seen lots of great deals for the Wii U, but, like, in the UK and Australia. <laughs> well, that is not helpful. Yeah. I've seen le if you... By the time you bothered shipping it, it would not be a great deal anymore. Yeah. I do want this. I want Wind Waker. Wind I want Waker's Wonderful really 101. Wonderful 101 is really good, but it takes a little bit to learn it. Um, Zombie U is a legit good game. It's kind of janky, because it's kind of low budget, but... Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool what it does. Um, Pikmin 3 is also great. Oh, yeah. I have to Lego. like move, slide these blocks with the touchpad. Is that Lego's... Uh, Lego City Undercover City? I hear is really good, but I haven't tried it yet. Okay, it's out already? I wasn't sure. Yeah, it's been out for a while. Uh, there's Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Did you ever end up trying the Monster Hunter stuff? I tried the demo and it seemed neat, but I know it's like a super big game that you have to get really invested in. Yep. And I can't do that right now. Also, look at these. These are the weird-ass Goombas from Super Mario World. The chestnut Goombas. Oh, yeah. I like that they have two different types of Goombas now. All that good stuff is on the Wii U's. I know I'm forgetting something. Nintendo Land is good. It's pretty fun. Multi and single player. There are a couple mini games that are really good single player stuff. Especially the Donkey Kong fucking thing, which is rage inducing because it's so hard. The Donkey Kong one? There's a mini game in there where it uses the gamepad tilting. Mm hmm. And you have to move, like, this little roller car thing along, like. Um. A rail, and it just gets really fucking hard. I'm also messing up these blocks. Whoops. It's like a cool physics-based minigame, and the tilting actually helps that game out. Um, is there going to be a... is there an announced Donkey Kong for yeah, Wii U? Yeah, there's a new Donkey Kong Country coming out. It was supposed to come out, like, a little bit before this game came out, but they delayed it until, like, January or February uh, next year. Okay. Um, there's also, like, Mario Kart 8 coming out, which actually looks pretty cool. Because um, it's, like, F-Zero-ish now. Um, really? Yeah, like, the tracks go crazy upside down, gravity-defying stuff. Uh, some of the tracks re look really... Oh, I have to blow again. Because these platforms have fans. Um, there's Bayonetta 2 coming out sometime. There's that Xenoblade sequel type thing coming out sometime. Smash Brothers. There's that weird-ass crossover game that they've only mentioned but haven't shown any footage of yet, which is Fire Emblem Cross Shin Megami Tensei. Hmm. Which is two kind of strange games to have a crossover for. I... yeah. 
Yeah, Bayonetta 2 would be cool to play. Mm -hmm. I forgot it's uh, Nintendo specific. So weird. Yeah. Well, nobody else wanted to pay money to fund it. I guess. Oh, jeez. Oh, fuck me. God damn it. No! I killed myself. <laughs> Good. Too bad, it says. Too bad. Too bad, you shitlord. <laughs> well, I have 13 lives. I wonder if I can find uh, Beyond Two Souls for a good deal um, from your Black Friday. I wonder how well that game sold. I don't know. I do want to play it, though. I have to. You so know I, I have to. I just noticed if I blow on my gamepad, it blows the really tiny Goombas away, too. <laughs> I just killed them all just by blowing on the controller. That 25's not bad. I can do 25. Yeah, 25 isn't bad for a dumbass David Cage game. Red box and blitz the red. Could do that. I wonder if the red box near me. There's one in the stop and shop right down the street. There are like red boxes everywhere. I just do. I just Google. Do I just go to red box. Probably. I'm sure they like. I can never. Are red box discs like functional though? Because anytime I see people using red box, you know, it's because it's at like Walmart. I just imagine people who go to Walmart regularly and also use the red box there are the type of people who like use the disc as an ashtray. <laughs> Like You're just thinking of that, that one then, Cabela's you got. And then rub it all over sandpaper and, and like, shit on it and stuff. <laughs> I don't care about the movies. Give me the games. Hmm. They don't have it. Not at the closest one. How about at the 7-Eleven? Am I ever going to LP the David Bowie kit David Cage game? Is that... Oh, what the hell is that thing called? It's on good old games, but no. I've never played that and I don't think I have any interest to. Uh, and somebody asked if I'm ever going to finish Heavy Rain and... Like, eventually? But the problem is... I had to buy a new PS3 because Metal Gear Rising killed my old one. In 2008. It just finally died. Just, it couldn't handle, just murdered it. You couldn't handle that game anymore. And I was able to transfer all my saves before my PS3 finally went kaput. But I couldn't transfer my Heavy Rain saves because they are copy protected for some dumbass reason. So I had to start all over again. What is going on with this pipe? See how far away this is. This one has beyond two souls. Oh, uh, another thing that's on the Wii U that's actually pretty good is Rayman Legends. Uh, that's a multi-platform game, but it was originally Wii U exclusive, so like the Wii U version is like the best version, because it has everything. The most time sunk into it, I'm sure, too. Yeah, it has like... They're like tablet control levels, and they're on the Vita, too, but then you have to have a Vita? Um... Yeah, this place is only two and a half miles away. I could do that one day. Mm -hmm. Do you have to return a, a red box disc to the same red box, red box, or can I just I don't know, put it actually. in the one that's closer to me? Um, I don't know. This is a mystery house. I only have ten seconds to beat these levels. 
That was, uh... Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say, that, that's all. That's easy. Yeah. There's multiple levels. Oh, jeez, I'm gonna fuck this one up! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna fuck this one up. Oh, no! Oh, it doesn't kill you, though. You can return to any red box. Sweet! <laughs> I'll just... I can do that. That's probably for the best. Mm -hmm. I don't want to encourage David Cage. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. <clears throat> I wonder what else I should be playing. Uh, I don't know. You played that Batman. Yeah, I didn't finish that. I guess I could play it now. I didn't want to keep playing it because of whatever uh, update at the time that fixed, oh, right. you know, some minor things also broke the end game. So yeah, I didn't. I didn't want to have to deal with that. <laughs> it's true. I do have Arkham Origins. It's just not as fun because it's not nearly as <laughs> cohesive feeling. Like, I just, what yeah. kills me is trying to traverse the city and being like, I'm gonna climb up that and finding out, oh, I, I can, can only climb up a third of this that. ledge for some reason. Oh, I'm going to, you know, use my <laughs> whatever bat claw and get myself over there. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, I can't launch off off of that. I don't know. It's mm. it's really really frustrating. There's a lot of the areas feel like you should be able to do things there and use them, and you can't. Yeah. So you don't use leave little footprints. Yeah. I think if I use the gamepad and if I, yeah, if I put my finger on that rolling hill, it stops moving. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> can you actually move around while you're doing it, though? Yeah. See, so can I stop everybody from running? Yes. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I've was reading about the um, Fallout 4 thing earlier, so now that's that's pretty much all I want right now is <laughs> to play Fallout. <laughs> well, you did Bond New Vegas. Are you still playing that? Mm-hmm. Have you bought any sex trade economy mods yet? I know I have. <laughs> okay. It's questionable if it's real or not, but generally. They seem Bethesda seems to actually um, say no when when someone tries to. Yeah, because there've been a couple you know. of faked ones before, haven't? They? Right. So any 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 fake ones they normally deny having involvement with, and they haven't said anything about this. Oh, I wonder what so. happens if I touch an enemy. Oh, they stop moving in place, and they also kind of vibrate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, weird. And I can rub them, if I rub them enough, a coin pops out of them. Man, I am learning so much about this. <laughs> rub, rub mice and coins will pop out of them. Vegas isn't that short. I like New Vegas a lot. Well, I guess you could finish it very quickly if you. Oh, just... you could finish three quicker than you could finish New Vegas if you went straight through. A baseball. 
And three kind of led you to go straight through more, because you get stuck kind of in that corridor that is uh, right near the capital wasteland. Oh, yeah. You know, like right near the capital building and whatnot, or whatever that is. I guess it's um, the Washington Monument, I suppose. Mm. It's really where you end up being closest to. Uh, and none of the main mission takes you anywhere near the upper left portion of the map at all. Just blew those Goombas away again. You have to actively want to go exploring. I feel like New Vegas at least has you, leads you to more of the areas. I never finished Fallout 3. I finished New Vegas though. You did? Yeah. I'm surprised by that. Well, you, you have trouble with open world stuff. It depends what type of open world game it is. But yeah, there's some stuff. Whereas I want to do absolutely everything, that kind of burns me out sometimes. Mm -hmm. Also, since now I'm little Mario and he's hatless. <laughs> he's so small! Metallic. He's adorable. Yeah, Fallout 3 is, is very good as well. There's a mod for New Vegas that merges 3 and New Vegas together, really. Huh. That's interesting. That was a crappy jump. They feel very different, though. Whoops. <laughs> if you fall long jump into a wall, you just hit your face and fall. <laughs> fall 3 is more, um, sort of desolate. Man, all these crazy ass colors. <laughs> Why? <laughs> now we've got baseballs. What's with all the sports theme? I don't know. What's bad about the beginning of New Vegas? I like the beginning. It's not so bad. It's kind of open. You can kind of go ahead and veer off wherever you want. Yeah, you the can only kind of bad leave thing immediately, can't you? What? You can just pretty much just leave immediately, like after that opening cutscene, right? Yeah. Plus, th right. The only bad thing about that opening bit is that you can't pick that one picture to <laughs> to explain what it really looks like, which is a bear. Oh, yeah. That one ink blot. <laughs> yeah, plus you never need to do the beginnings of those games after you do them the first time. You can just get saves that put you right at the end, where it's like, Hey, are you sure you wanted those stats? No, I'll just change them now. <laughs> I definitely did that when I when I replayed three. Did what? Skipped the beginning part of three. Oh yeah. I you know it's good. It's just very long. Yeah. <laughs> they made DLC with a reference to that bear thing. That's great. Hmm. I oh, have the DLC now, Goombas. I guess, since I got the um. The uh, game of the year edition or gold edition, whatever on Steam. Yeah. You're such a little Mario, you handle <laughs> those big Goombas so easily. Oh man, I wonder what. Little Peach looks like, because I don't think they've ever done that before. She probably looks... No? I don't think so. Hmm. Little Peach. That's not gonna get me anything. 
If it does, it'll probably be not what you're looking for. That's a giant breasted woman. And not an attractive one. That's the first oh, man. Google res <laughs> results. There's a tiny ass peach. She looks like a baby. Look at this. Once the stream catches up. Oh. She is tiny. And now there are two peaches. I wish she um. <laughs> she didn't float as long because her skirt's not as uh. <laughs> oh, yeah. as, as wide. They're so confused, they're adorable. Yeah. They have no idea what's going on, they're just Make running. Like these little baby squeaky noises as well. <laughs> can you can you move the peaches independently or do you just have to run them into walls to get them run close into together? Walls. Okay. <laughs> That wasn't the right pipe. Nope. Oh, there's another one. I want to have more peaches. Now I have three peaches. Yo, I have four peaches. Oh, I had four peaches and that little guy bumped into me. <laughs> what is going on here? Hmm. Uh... Let's, um, let's try that again. Yeah. What is that doing exactly? I think if you can get one on top of there, you can... Oh, yeah, you're right. So I have to put one here now. You're right. We're solving puzzles. There's a stamp up there. <laughs> That's some puzzle solving right there. <laughs> there you go. Now I'm throwing a shitload of fireballs all at once. I wish you really had to figure out a weird way to split them up to get all those coins. Mm -hmm. I wish they made it really difficult. <laughs> well, that was nice and easy. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, the pipe disappeared. Damn it. There's this pad over here that needs four people on it. Oh. I have to get it later. And we still have um, Saints Road too. Yeah, we barely played any of that. Well, I remember, because that's another thing that got updated with a patch that apparently broke the game, oh, so we couldn't yeah. play it for a while. It's gotta be fixed now, up. right? Yeah. No, it definitely got updated. Okay, good. Yeah, we should play that sometime. Okay. <laughs> Alright, one, one more world, and then I, I gotta go sleeps. I should probably do that as well, because I almost fixed my fucking sleep schedule, and, but then I didn't. Um, <laughs> it's just gonna ruin it. It's just gonna utterly ruin it. No, What's that if, boomerang plant? What does that I do? I think there's a boomerang power-up, maybe. Ooh. Um, but no, it was, um... A few days ago, I had to get up at 8, because my dad had a doctor's appointment. 
So I got up at 8, and I stayed up the whole day, and I made sure I would stay awake because I streamed right around noon, which is where I always get mega tired mm -hmm. if I haven't had enough sleep. And I streamed some shitty VHS tapes I bought at a church rummage sale a few months ago. <laughs> uh, one was uh, How to Learn the Hottest Country Line Dances. Good. From 1992. Uh, and then there was a sweet snowmobile crash compilation VHS. Um, and it was really shitty because most of the crashes were super lame. Um, and I streamed a weird ass like educational movie called Creating a Rem Lazar, but then Twitch noticed that I was streaming something other than video games and they told me to cut that out. Oh really? I tried to get around it because I was streaming muted footage of my Metal Gear Rising LP in the bottom right corner. So there was technically <laughs> video games happening. <laughs> but then, like, a Twitch policeman wow. came in and he was like, Please stop streaming this material on the left side of the screen. That's funny. Yeah. I really like the part where you were you trying to be sneaky about it. Yeah. That, that's great. And I had, like, in Comic Sans, like, it said the stream was Pro Esports Headshot City to make it more video game-like. <laughs> uh, but they did not like that. Oh, oh man! Well. Oh, I fuck! I missed it! There's a new power-up there. There's like a cannon block thing. There's probably another one. Yeah, I Oh, imagine. I can just pick this one up. If I did... If I didn't miss it, as well. Because <laughs> uh, it just goes off the camera. Mm-hmm. I don't want to die from, like, being off Great. the camera. Great. Uh, would you even get hit by those spikes <laughs> coming out of there? They're, st they're very <laughs> they're short. Oh, yeah, they're not. They're stubby little spikes. They don't look that threatening, truly. Yeah. So those little guys, before they get all confused and just run around like crazy, they march, like, mm -hmm. in unison, and they do like a little heave-ho thing. Oh man, that... Man, if I had that cannon block, I could break this wall, and there would be a green star in it, probably. Probably? Ugh. <laughs> oh, it's Boom Boom. Well, just double lariating his way over to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like how squished little he gets when you stomp on him. Yeah, oh, he's turning invisible. Oh, I bet it could reveal him if I try to touch him on the gamepad, though. It's probably a thing that happens. This is a really good game, you guys. I really like it. It's very... Uh, it is very pretty. Yeah. Like, I think parts of the art style, but, like, the lighting looks really natural. And, mm -hmm. like, looks better than lighting you could get on an earlier console. That's what I think, at least. And the shadows look pretty good, too. They aren't aliased as shit. Which annoys the hell out of me. <laughs> Well, they are aliases. There's, there isn't that much anti-aliasing in this game, but it's like they aren't low resolution. Yeah. They aren't mega blocky, which is although me I, off. I, I really that. that's what I really liked when I played or when I saw my friend's 3DS, uh, and I messed around with um, Ocarina of Time. When you take it out of the 3D, it's 2D, but it's like fabulous looking. Yeah, that game There's looks no, really good on the 3DS. No blocky pixel edges anywhere. <clears throat> yeah.
You're welcome, little princess fairy <laughs> thing. I don't know what these things are called. I don't know either. S somebody said in the stream that this game looks like Nintendo actually gave a shit when they made it, and that's because... Nintendo has lots of teams, like the new Super Mario Brothers games, which people always criticize for being, like, kind of sterile and, like... Plasticky and not being that. They're boring. They're boring, and it's because the teams that make it are like new teams. Like, New Super Mario Brothers 2 or whatever for the 3DS that came out earlier this year. That game was literally made by like a new group of like recently graduated game design students in Japan. And they were given that game like as a test to see what they can do and all that. Meanwhile, this game is made by EAD Tokyo, which is like Nintendo's top game dev branch like they're the dudes that make all the really good mario games like mario galaxy mario 64 and all that see like that totally makes sense for me at least with a game that doesn't really have a canon exactly mm -hmm. i don't like it when they when they do that with uh <laughs> with story stuff like batman or something like batman No, it's silly. Well, this is cute, and I like it. Yep. That's probably the end of the stream, though. Yep. It's, it's three it in the morning. It is late. It is late, and I have to and work. I haven't played Zelda yet. So I'll probably do that instead of going to sleep. Oh, what a good idea, I Mr. Know, right? I just fixed my sleep schedule. No, no, no. I didn't actually didn't finish that story. So I, <laughs> I stayed up that whole day and went to bed at 12.30, and it was great. Mm -hmm. I fell asleep instantly. But then I woke up at 5 in the morning... And I was like, mm, I want to wake up at like 9 or 8.30 or something. And like, I couldn't get back to sleep. And I should have taken that signal as I'm awake. I should get up and do things. Mm -hmm. But instead, I tried to go back to sleep. And then two hours later, I fell asleep. And then I woke up at 3 in the afternoon. Oh, perfect. Yeah, so I fucked it <laughs> totally up. Totally fixed. You're I right. I completely fucked it up. <laughs> it was so close to being fixed. I woke up at 5 on my own volition. One day. One day, uh, I'll, one, live like a normal person, <laughs> uh, sleep like a normal person, and uh, I'll eat like a normal person as well, instead of eating pizza and, uh, pizza. I had pizza today, if that makes you feel better. Yo, I haven't had pizza in, like, almost two weeks, and I'm jonesing <laughs> for some, and I might get some tomorrow. You can live vicariously through me. I ate pizza today. What kind of pizza, though? It was plain, delicious, cheesy, greasy pizza. Was it pepperoni on it? Not today. Just, just, just plain. That's just okay. plain. But I usually like having pepperoni there. I like pepperoni, too. But I also have fallen in love with sriracha. Mm -hmm. So I can get hot, the hot from sriracha. I don't need the pepperoni all the time. Yeah. Okay, speech or chat's great, but I'm gonna go. Okay. <laughs> Going to bed. Everybody. Good, Good night. Have fun.